Up with Crim begins now. A Washington couple is running into trouble to finalize adoption, adopting a baby from China. How the coronavirus is impacting them and many others across the nation. And a mostly dry week ahead as we wake up to a beautiful start to the day in downtown Spokane. We'll talk about where we'll see some trouble spots and how long the dry weather will last. And the unique display of art in Tacoma that we will tell you about whose art was featured and who it benefits. It's a great story. Stick around for it. And we've got congratulations this morning to the Gonzaga men's basketball team. They brought home another big win mm. over the weekend, defeating Pepperdine 89 to 77. That was a fun game to watch. I was watching it. Was. Like, oh yeah, and Zags have now won 18 straight games. There it oh, is, nice. 18 wow. straight, 12 and 0 in the in yeah, uh, con are. in their uh, comp. Uh, my gosh, I have no words so far. <laughs> conference play. Thank you. I, was like, <laughs> I kept wanting to say competition. It's not competition. <laughs> hey, it's, it's conference. Monday. It is Monday. Oh man, it's so Monday. I love All right. It. Oh. <laughs> I don't know anything about basketball, but that sounds very good. It, yes. Sounds yes. Like they're doing well. They're doing great <laughs> as we get closer and closer to March. March Madness. Yes. That's right. That's favorite time be, of the oh, year. Oh, best time of the year. I know so much about sports. I can <laughs> excel in my knowledge. No, my favorite time is putting a bracket together yeah. for March Madness and doing it based off of like so I'll always choose a different theme each year so mm -hmm. like last year I did it based off of uniforms yeah. mm -hmm. whichever's <laughs> uniform whichever team's uniform was more aesthetically pleasing I'd be like eh, I don't know about the highlighter <laughs> yellow so I'm gonna go against that one and I think that was more successful than when I actually claim to have any what's knowledge. what's this year's theme I'm excited I don't know to I'm gonna out. have to pinpoint it I I think maybe this year I might just have to go for like maybe uh, best mascot the, oh, mm -hmm. ooh, I like that. You know the best one I ever did? What? My mom picked everyone. Oh, that's mom a good picked strategy. Every I like single that. one. It was the best one I've had in years. Send Mother knows mom. best. Mother knows best. True. true. <laughs> I know. Watch that be the best, the most successful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Best mom. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the weather, what we've got going into the work week. It's Monday, right? We've started off the week with mostly dry conditions. The view out toward downtown Spokane looking good. Uh, if you are in North Idaho and over toward western Montana, parts of the inland, inland northwest are going to be seeing some snow showers. But for the most part, it's going to be a dry day. 12 hour forecast leading us to 43 degrees in Spokane. Also that sunrise coming early and earlier. Now it is nice to be in the six o'clock hour and see that sun slowly come up. By the time we get into about your March, April, May, we're going to be moving toward 5 a.m. sunsets and then eventually by June, 4 a.m. sunrises. Just around 4.50 is when we see that earliest sunrise. Uh, today, we're still waiting in parts of uh, you know North Idaho to pick up on a little bit of that sun, especially because of the cloud cover. Roads are a bit slick in some spots, including around Wallace as you move toward Lookout Pass, which saw the brunt of that storm that came through over the weekend. A few residual showers that hang out through the central and southern panhandle as we go on through your, your Monday. Headed into your, about your Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when we see mostly dry conditions move in, so we should actually be seen almost nothing on satellite radar as you can see on future tracker by the time we get into early Wednesday. That means good news for anyone who has plans throughout the week as you shouldn't be encountering much difficulty in the weather department. Just uh, some slightly colder temperatures, especially overnight and then 40s in the afternoon. Uh, it is nearing 633 right now. Joshua, over to you. Evan, thank you very much. Senator Bernie Sanders scheduled to host a rally today in Tacoma. Now this is ahead, of course, of course, of the Washington State Presidential Primary that's scheduled for March 10th. Sanders rally is free and open to the public. Now one of his opponents, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, visited Seattle this uh, yesterday, while Senator Elizabeth Warren is scheduled to be in Seattle next weekend. The NAACP has launched its first local chapter in Kootenai County. This is the third brand in the state of of Idaho, the, excuse me, the first in the state of Idaho, the third in our region, with two other locations right now in Pocatello and the Treasure Valley. Idaho Senate candidate Paulette Jordan joined the opening ceremony as the keynote speaker. Boeing is pushing back on an issue that the FAA says they found on the 737 MAX jets last month. Now, the company submitted recommendations to federal officials on Friday, but sources say Boeing is saying that it does not need to separate or move some of the wiring bundles that FAA says could short circuit and possibly cause crashes. The company declined to comment on the exact recommendation that they are making for resolving this issue. 737 MAX jets have been grounded for almost a year now following two deadly crashes. Boeing is still working to fix a software glitch. A weekend auction in Tacoma featured artwork created by men and women 
who are currently serving time in prison. It happened at the LeMay American Car Muse America's Car Museum over the weekend where classic cars were surrounded by pieces of art, each with their own story. Organizers say events like these not only benefit the groups that they're raising money for, but also the artists who are using this opportunity to grow. But it's the Department of Corrections, and we are there to correct and rehabilitate. And these men and women are there to correct and rehabilitate themselves. All of the money raised from the weekend auction is set to go to the YWCA and to help families in King, Pierce, and Thurston counties. And that's your Morning Rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrim on social media. 635 now the State Department leaders say Americans should not travel to China amid the coronavirus outbreak. Our sister station in Seattle though shows us how that ban on travel is keeping a new family separated by thousands of miles. This is Miles. He's three. You'd never know that this boy has never met his soon to be family. And we're excited to get over there and see him and bring him back home. Jade Cernich is waiting to meet her little brother. I'm most excited about getting him and seeing the zoo. Their story starts in 2014, when Chris and his wife Suzette flew from Bellingham to Beijing to adopt their daughter, now six-year-old Jade. I mean, the first time she looked up at us, it, she, she knew that we were her parents. In October of this year, they were officially matched with their second child, Miles. <laughs> Plans to pick him up earlier this month were canceled when the State Department blocked all travel from the U.S. to China, all in an effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. With more cases every day, we just wonder and, you know, hope and pray that it's going to end. In an attempt to help the most vulnerable, the Northwest-based adoption agency Holt International has raised more than $50,000 for the 600 children in their partner orphanage in Wuhan a town at the center of the epidemic. Children just like Miles, who aren't sick, but because of the virus, are stuck waiting to go home. We don't know when. We, you know, we just want to go over there and bring him home. A little boy they're waiting to bring to Bellingham. Sebastian Robertson, okay. King 5 News. 6.36 now, it's time for your speed feed stories you'll see on social media this morning. Stranger Things comes to you from Russia with love for its fourth season. Producers confirmed production on season four is now underway. They released a teaser about the return of Hopper, who is imprisoned far from home. They also promised the new season is shaping up to be the biggest and most frightening yet. No word on when it will start streaming on Netflix. And this one could make your abs hurt just thinking about it. Here's a new world record, and this is for planking. A man in Illinois just set the record for the world's longest plank. He held it for eight hours and 15 minutes and 15 seconds. He topped the old record by 14 minutes. The 62 year old trained for four months to beat the old record. Okay, I'm at the gym and I'm like, 38 seconds, I have to drop. Eight hours. Yeah. I cannot believe this. He must have abs of literal steel. It's just uh, one ab. Just one right. ab. <laughs> oh my gosh. And an eight year old is going viral for her birthday party held at Target. Brayden Lawrence's mom got a special permission to host that party at a store in Atlanta. Brayden Celebration had personalized name tags, walkie talkies, and even store uniforms. <laughs> she was so excited. They even toasted by drinking those uh, Target ICs. There was another picture that I saw. <laughs> so she got cute. to ring up a, custo a oh, couple, cool. couple customers, and I just couldn't believe it. I mean, you also have to give a big shout out to the manager there who mm -hmm. apparently printed all the name tags and gave them the uniforms and stuff. Sweet. I mean, to make it a, a very fun birthday. I love it. it. Looks like she had a great time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I should have thought of that. They Smart say idea. you never go into Target with, you know, wanting just one thing right. and leaving mm -hmm. with that same one. Well, apparently you go into Target and you want a birthday party. Yeah. Well, I, I, I love that story. Sounds great. Yeah. I should consider it for my 26th. There you go. Okay, get it started now. Exactly. All right. 639 now and we're going to be coming back with a little bit of weather where we're talking about dry skies as we start off the week, but the next chance for some snow in the forecast. We're back more with up more up with Krem after the break.